Hello, um, my name is Phoebe and um, today I wanted to share with you uh, how to make this really interesting and unique kind of um, robe jacket that you can throw together from any kind of quilt or a blanket that you may have lying around that maybe has a couple stains or is just sitting at the bottom of a closet. Um, kind of the origin story of this is that I, like m seemingly thousands of others, um, since most sewing machines were sold out, uh, purchased a sewing machine uh, during the uh, pandemic to try to not only make some masks for myself and my family, but also to um, just kind of have a hobby to take up since we all are at home now. So um, I kind of fell down a uh, internet spiral of trying to find these like interesting, unique prints. I kept seeing these kind of really cool looking uh, quilted jackets that look like you got them from a vintage shop. Um, with these really really interesting and unique fabrics and um, I realized that probably a lot of those fabrics are probably quilts um, so I dug a little deeper and of course there was a treasure trove of um, you know prints and you know many many people have done this before me but basically um, I downloaded a print from uh, I believe it's called peppermint magazine they have other cool prints um, I'll link that below and um, I made a couple of these jackets and they turned out really well. So um, I thought I would share with you guys. I'm by no means, um, you know, an expert in sewing at all. Um, so I'm probably doing all the, the wrong stitches and please uh, feel free to, to criticize and, uh, you know, advise me below. Um, but uh, basically I just use a straight stitch for everything because that's the only really one that I know how to use. So, um, yeah, I'll walk you through it anyway, and um, I'm going to be working with this blanket as my starting material. Um, it was a blanket that we had in storage. I noticed that there's a few kind of brown stains on it from God knows what. <laughs> um, so, but I thought it would also make a really kind of interesting little quilted uh, kind of kimono style jacket. Um, so yeah, let's get rolling. So here you can see that I am laying out the blanket uh, so that I can cut out the pieces from the pattern. So um, basically the pattern will print on normal printer paper and then you just tape it all together um, and you can see there's kind of a grid that you go along with. Um, you'll see it if you look at the pattern in the description below. So here I am cutting the uh, two front panels, uh, one for the right and one for the left side. Oh, there you can see some of those ominous stains. <laughs> so now I went in to cut the back of the jacket and you see that you have to fold it along a grain line uh, so that the back is just one large piece. Uh, this fabric was super chunky as you can see so um, I was just cutting it one layer at a time and I want to make sure that I always get that silky trim at the bottom because I want to use that as the hem and I don't know how to sew a hem to save my life. So I conveniently cropped um, what I'm doing out of the shot. That was well done. Um, so I'm just cutting the sleeves here. It's basically just two rectangles and you want to again have that silky part at the bottom so that you have um, a hem to work with. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, um, I was cutting just this uh, little silky uh, strip that I'm going to use as the collar. It's a little bit easier because this is thinner fabric, uh, so since we're going to have to do like a double fold hem, uh, it's better if it's so, thin. So um, in the patterns they also uh, add a belt. Uh, I omit the belt. This is probably something that I'm just going to be wearing around the house, honestly, like if I'm being realistic about my uh, sewing capabilities. Um, I might not want to wear this in public, but um, so the pieces that you have in the end are two uh, rectangles for each sleeve. Uh, you have a bodice. And then you have the two fronts of the jacket, like this. Like this. Um, and then last but certainly not least, is the collar. So. Alrighty, so the first step is to uh, sew the uh, two front panels to the back 
and you do this by putting the wrong sides facing outwards and then sewing them together along where the shoulders would be. You can see when you get to the end, you just do a quick reverse stitch. Alrighty, so um, the, here I'm showing you uh, what we've accomplished, which is just showing, sewing the, um, the front and the back together, and you can see that we kind of have two uh, shoulder parts of the jacket. You can see uh, it's kind of starting to look like something that drapes over a human form. <laughs> so the next part is to uh, sew on the sleeve, so you want to make sure that silky part is facing the same side as the other silky parts and then you're just going to want to sew it along the um, top of the uh, back and front that you just sewed together. Alrighty, so we're in business. So I start sewing um, the first sleeve on here. Um, and there are parts where it gets tough because um, when the three pieces of fabric meet, those parts are really, really thick. And then um, here I am in the background trying to solve this, um, you know, uh, age-long mystery of how to get the next sleeve on. Alrighty, eventually she figures it out and um, I just trim off a little bit of excess fabric there and then get sewing again. Alrighty, so uh, we sewed the sleeves on and um, I'm looking like I came straight out of the terracotta army here. Um, but basically you can see we have all of the pieces sewn together and we just need to sew underneath the armpit and along the outer edge of the body. Then we're also going to sew up these two little flappy things at the bottom of the hem just to keep everything looking really neat. So you can see here that the jacket is really starting to come together. Uh, the only things that we have left to do are to sew on the collar and uh, sew up these little flaps at the bottom. So the way that I did the collar was, if you remember, I cut that long piece of kind of silky fabric. And just to help me with the double stitch hem, I fold that in half lengthwise and then iron it down. And then I fold each of those halves inward as well to help me just keep the stitch in place while I'm sewing it. So um, I left a little silky overhang on these two side vents and then I just sewed that in to neaten up the hem. And there we have it, our robe jacket. It's definitely not totally perfect, but um, I think it's really, really cool to wear around the house and um, I hope it gets better each time I do it. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.